Welcome back. Joining us on this Thirsty Thursday, we have none other than Tate from Wildcat Brothers Distilling. Thanks for having me back again. I am so excited. So you always knock it out of the park with your drinks. And today, I don't know if you can smell it, Adam, but it smells like caffeine. I mean, she was so excited. Taylor came in. She's like, guess what? <laughs> we have coffee. But it's also mixed with some uh, adult beverages. Some, some adult stuff. beverages. That's right. So one of the things is that, you know, we, we try that at Wildcat Brothers. We try to, to use stuff that people have in their pantries or use. Yeah. Actually, this is the coffee. That was my morning coffee. It was left over from the coffee pot. Perfect. So you can take it out, cool it down. So what we have here, and this is an easy recipe, and pardon my spilling, it's three, two, one. So okay. this is actually father's coffee, uh, which is brewed with noir. So it's, so it's, it's the, the beans are soaked. It's father's coffee out of Crowley. Okay. Locally sourced coffee, and uh, the folks out there, they brew it with Noir, and it's pretty amazing. Wow. So for those of us that don't know, what is Noir? Noir is our dark rum. It's our five-year dark rum, and that's where we're going to be making Ooh. our... Uh, five be years? So this has been, like, in the making for five years? Five years. So this that's is almost be as old as Michael Crowley. That's this right. is true. That's wow. right. <laughs> <laughs> almost. So uh, so this is the, the thing is... is and one of the things, if we're not drinking rum at the distillery, we typically drink in coffee. So this is a uh, so this is a drink we kind of call uh, we call it cafe toujours because it's you know it's always coffee. So I love that. we put I love it. three parts of the coffee in here, and we're gonna put this is gonna be a, a batch drink. So don't this is not just one drink. <laughs> don't, don't, don't take you know what? This is this is you not, you're not be walking out of <laughs> here. <laughs> you notice that there are six glasses here, six <laughs> cups. So uh, go for it. <laughs> so, uh, so we put our noir in there first, and then we're using a syrup from uh, Syrup de Saison. This is actually a syrup yes. that is made right here in Youngsville. We uh, actually had him on the noon show yep. one nice. time. Al yes, Alex is, does a great job, and, and we often use it. He developed this for, to make old fashions, but mm -hmm. we kind of, you know, we took it for ourselves and, and, and made some that. interesting rum drinks out of it. And I love that everything that you're showing is local. It's local. And that's the thing is, what we try to do is we try to keep as local, uh, as local or as American made as possible. So. Uh, typically, we shake this, but since we're doing batches, we put it in, in there, and some people don't have cocktail shakers. Mm -hmm. So, um, and, and again, this is an easy recipe for a brunch. So, a yes. brunch, a party, or something like have that. Have it in a so, picture ready to go? Absolutely. So, what you want to do is you want to dilute it a little bit, and since we got a little fancy, we put in our teacups, oh, we put a little coffee beans. So. so, we're headed over to England now. Yeah, why not? Well, actually, the funny thing is people always laugh sometimes with teacups, but in rum, teacups are a traditional vessel to drink in because when pirates pillage ships, they would steal the English people's teacups. So, oh. so uh, you, I'm you, learning so much. If you today. see a pirate drinking rum, oftentimes they're drinking a tea out of a teacup, cup. and it's because they typically stole it from someone. Now so, that's uh, yeah. pretty cool. I so love I that. also saw that you put some uh, coffee beans. We at put the some coffee beans because you know why. Let's Extra just be coffee. fancy. Yeah. yeah. So and and two is is when we serve this actually uh, this will be for the person we don't like. <laughs> so uh, here we go. Let's go for. Uh, Love for it. A sip. Now I what's, am excited what's for What's happening here is that you can actually eat the coffee beans if you want to, but this is, really? again, this is going to be a nice, uh, and again, it's going to be a kind of it's a strong drink. It's a really drink. pretty yeah. color, too. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, my gosh. It smells like a coffee shop. It's, um, and again, this is a nice, Ooh. sippable drink. It's perfect for, uh, there this we go. This is awesome. That's you know what? It almost kind of has like a Crown Royal like flavor to it. it like I might be off of my flavor. Like yes, like woods, woody, I have like burned. chicory. In. So yes. one, one of the great things about, about Noir is so Noir spends five years in a second use bourbon barrel. And then we also blend it in with some younger rums that are grown on David, my master distiller's his, his property. So it's also aged on on woods like cherry wood, pear wood, persimmon, hickory, oh plum wood. Wow. And that's the thing is, well, so there's nothing else like this on the market. So you're getting all these flavors that, that are very different in the Roman. I, I love this And so we're being much. told to wrap, but yes. stay with us. We'll be right back after this. Enjoying our little coffee and <laughs> our mean, tea cups. I mean, this is, you know, fantastic. This is incredible. Tate, if you want to learn more about Wildcat Brothers, where can they find you? Sure, you can go to wildcatbrothers.com or on Thursday nights. Actually, tonight we're having happy hour. So come visit us at Gator Cove on Highway 90 uh, from 6 to 8.30. We're going to have a band and more great drinks. Uh, this know, is incredible. Get this. It tastes like caffeine. <laughs> Dangerous. It's amazing. Oh, my gosh. Tate, yeah. thank you. Thank you. And thank you at home for joining us. We'll see you right back here tomorrow. Cheers.